Over the 23 years we've been using SolidWorks, it's been the mainstay of our business without doubt. Key to the success of SolidWorks is not only the quality of the product, but it's the backup that we get from SolidWorks. My name's David Thompson. I'm a graduate engineer by profession. My wife and I set up a company called Thompson Engineering Design in about 2001, specialising in the manufacture of products for the rail industry. In 2013, we sold the manufacturing side and set up Frangus Limited, which is our design consultancy company. Nowadays, Frangus provides complete design packages for manufacturers such as Thomson Engineering, where we are today, um, to produce product for largely the rail industry, but also quite a bit for construction as well. Well, we realised in 2001 that 2D CAD was beginning to hold the company back. So we looked around for a solution and we actually invested in SolidWorks initially in 2002 with a subscription to SolidWorks Premium. We've now moved on to the point where we have um, Simulation Professional, SolidWorks Electrical Professional, SOLIDWORKS Composer, currently looking at how SOLIDWORKS Magnetics might improve our offering in the future as well. Initially, it was the speed of output, how quickly we could get designs into production. But as time's gone on, the ability to, to visualise products in 3D, to render them in 3D, to provide really good marketing materials, but also to animate them means that we as engineers can communicate with our clients so much better. There's fewer misunderstandings in terms of specification, how a product will work, what it will do and so on. Our typical design process starts with SOLIDWORKS. We produce concept models and animations to show what we think that the client requires. There's an iterative process then when we go back to the client and re refine that. Then we start with another iterative process which is design and simulation. So we will do a prototype design for a part, we will run it through simulation, we will refine it until we get that right and gradually build up sub-assemblies, weldments, fabrications and so on finally we end up with the working drawings. Now at that point we've got a complete model of the finished product. That then goes into Composer and we split that down in Composer to provide parts documentation, assembly documentation. They particularly use our e-drawings output of products. That allows the machining team and particularly the assembly team to examine the model of what they're supposed to be producing in fine detail. And then finally, we use rendering software within SolidWorks, what is called SolidWorks Visualize, to produce rendered images of the product which can be used for the marketing material. So this machine is a high output sleeper layer capable of 800 to 1000 sleepers an hour. This is an example where the whole suite of SOLIDWORKS products came into its own, not least the electrical package where we've used that to generate the very complex schematics needed for the PLC control system and produce those as 3D models so that the assembly team know exactly what wire goes where. SolidWorks most definitely gives us a competitive edge. The key thing is we get a product out at the first or second prototype as a rule. I'd recommend SolidWorks without hesitation.